Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video I'm going to be going through some coins I got in I, I got in? I, coins I got in, sorry um, I've got a few videos to record today Let's go through the first video Before I do really get into it, if you do like my content you know to support me right now, you can do it by liking, commenting and subscribing I'm sorry I've taken a week off I'd actually pre-recorded a few videos and when I went through them I just didn't like what I had recorded I can only apologise about the mess of my desk as well. I'm only a human being and I can't function at 100% all the time. So, yeah, I my supplier, uh, he's been working for a collection. You can tell it's a collection because it will have this. Anything that has, has come from the collection, you will see it's a reoccurring theme amongst uh, my videos of late. So he messaged me and he said, Sean, I've got seven and a half sovereigns, do you want them? And I'm going to go through them he actually sold them to me for a real bargain so he just charged me spot but when you see what's come in i've had a good a good day i haven't really been selling over the past couple of days i took two days off uh, it's the first time i've taken two days off in a row in as long as i can remember i've, I've only had three days off this year uh, i was meant to have a day off last week and I end up working half of it, so I need to look after myself a bit better. So yeah, this one came in. It's kind of funny story about this. Um, another one came in that I'll show you on another video. Oh, <laughs> you know, two came in the space of two days, but they're on different orders, so I'm going to separate them out. So yeah, there's that one. It's a real treat. What's coming? Really, really happy. 2006. So this one's already gone. Um, it was purely a case. Someone came in and said, hey, I'm after modern sovereigns. So 2000 onwards, do you have any? I, I wasn't going to work. I was like, oh, yeah, I've got one. Just take it. It's fine. So this one's been sold. So is this one. So this is a 1915S. Really nice coins that are coming. I'm going to save the best one to last. Uh, three of them I'm putting in my reserve, although one of them I might put on a chopping block depending on the results of one of my grading or one of the coins I'm grading so yeah this one has been sold I let him have it cheap he said because he, he buys a lot from me I've had a really good month so yeah it's those two all the coins I bought were, were good really good so I got this one 1926 South Africa okay it's not rare by any stretch good condition again the person who put together this collection they knew what they were doing they they really did I'm gonna separate them out because I don't want to get them confused so this one is a 1913 no mint mark beautiful condition Shame about some ring dings. Oh, ring dings. I'll save that one for last. So this one here, let's take it out of the plastic. So this is a 1917M. Fairly low mintage. I don't know the mintage off the top of my head. It is one of the lower ones because I pre-sorted it. Nice coin. I don't really favour this this king that much. However, however, there are some of the rarer coins. I think this one's under a million mintage. Nice condition. The next one might be on the chopping block. Let's put that one there. Again, let's take it out. This is a 1918 Indian Bombay Mint. Nice condition. Supplier charged me an extra £50 for this. He said to me, he's like, I've got to charge you more, it's an Indian. I was like, okay. I was like, do you want £20? He's like, ah, I probably want 50 I think it worked out to about 47 We just rounded it. Um, I was more than happy to pay it. I'm undecided if I'm going to keep this 
for long term. I know I want an Indian, a 1918 Indian sovereign in my long term hold. I'm starting to collect Indian sovereigns, let's be honest. I've got quite a few of them now. So that's that one. Now the next one is a real, real beauty and I made a bit of a faux pas, so I end up buying it and for whatever reason I got it into my head that it was a different mint mark and there was a huge difference, huge, huge difference. Look at that. So this is a 1930 Perth. I got it in my head that it was a 1930 Melbourne, which would have made it a 77k mintage. So I'm phoning up all my contacts and I'm saying, oh, I've got this 1930 Melbourne come in. What do you think? And then I looked at it, I was like, you're losing your marbles. I actually think that this coin here may be best in class. So the highest graded coin on both NGC and also PCGS is a 64. I actually think this is a 65 or a 66. Now, anyone watch, who watches my videos knows that I'm notoriously bad at calling grades. So if it does come back loud, then okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. But look how beautiful that is. Look at the shimmer. It's like it was minted yesterday. It's almost 100 years old. Beautiful, beautiful coin. So yeah, this one's definitely a keeper for me. I won't be selling this because if it does come back best in class, I won't be able to replace it. And I've had so many occasions in the past where I simply couldn't afford to hang on to my best stuff. I'm now in a position where I can. Beautiful coin. So yeah, that's the seven and a half I got in. Wonderful, wonderful coin. The lady who bought this knew what she was buying. So yeah, there's there's money in, in all of this, obviously, because I do this for a job, but really, really good result on the coins. I really enjoyed getting these in. Um, this one will do very well, especially considering I paid spot. There might be 75 quid in this with a bit of luck. So yeah, that's today's haul. I will be making a few videos after this concerning other stock. It's a real shame. I got some stuff in that I just instantly flipped and didn't even think about it. YouTube is one of those things where I, I sometimes get frustrated with it. I don't always have the time to do it. And often I, I make a video and it, it's like one or two in the morning and I really should be sleeping and looking after my health. But I'm... I'll just get tunnel vision. I'm like, no, I've got to put content out. I've got to do this, I've got to do that. And I need to kind of rebalance and do things differently. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do, you know, support right now, you know, by liking, commenting and subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.